Okay, guys. I I have a specific issue with certain things. Okay. First of all, more than please. I would advise you to take that sign down due to the fact it's against the Constitution of Canada. And and on top of that, because you're a, a public servant, you guys are held accountable. You cannot legally have those signs in your building. It might permit to you, but it does not permit to public. Or media and and if somebody's filming you do it to the fact because they don't trust your guys' butts it's your guys' issue for instance also with the film laws again I can prove to you guys it's legal. Otherwise, if anyone touched me in any form or sh short of way, it's immediately a soul charge on that person. Due to the fact because I'm media. I'm a photographer. And photography in Canada is legal in any area. Public photography is legal. It does not matter. A camera. A camera is eyes and ears, basically. And, and it really disgusts me when I see people don't understand the laws. And they think they know the law, but they don't. It makes my job a lot easier because guess what? They get educated and they learn. The sad part about it is they don't understand this. It's in Supreme Courts a ruled against this well ruled basically say, agreed with public photography your yeah, eye cameras don't lie and how can I put it if I was filming in in a like in a, another store And any other store, they don't give me an issue. Do you know why? Because, or any business, they don't give me an issue because I'm not doing anything illegal. Because the White House, uh, because the legislative building is ruled also saying this is totally legal and this is against what my rights are. If you don't believe me, go talk to the legislative building. For you guys who live in the U.S. or other countries, you guys will not know what that means. That means, that's basically the area where our Prime Minister is. Or, like Justin Trudeau does his work out of and, and certain things. Um, it's basically like a government uh, building. And that is in our, the capital of Manitoba and in Winnipeg. So, yeah. If anything, um, um, it makes me disgust it. It makes me feel like, like, people don't get it. Like, I'm speechless just due to the fact of how, how much education do you need to actually know this? In public, you're not, is it, your, your rights, your rights being, uh, 
have privacy are exempt. You're not exempt to any privacy when you're in public. That means besides the washrooms, besides certain areas of a building, and doing certain things that are not right. I'm not going to say them because I don't want to get into that area. But, I honestly think if more than law enforcement thinks they are playing this stupid little joke on me, saying, oh, no cameras, well, you bank on it, buddy. You're a public official. And it's legal to be filming in public. It's legal to do certain things. And this is all we want to know for anyone who thinks they're going to try to provoke my rights from filming. Unfortunately, you attack somebody with a film, uh, camera and not afraid to film. You... You will get your 15 minutes of fame. That's the sad part about it. But, you know... It is really sad that you, it is really sad, honestly. I'm actually disgusted of uh, the talent law enforcement and the same with our CMP. I'm actually really disgusted of people who think they know the law. Because personally, that is very unquestionable what they're doing. And that is actually signs of corrupt, corrupt uh, people. And those are the people who need to be investigated. Like the Morden Police Chief, for instance. Um, Giant Tiger also. Certain companies what need to be investigated. I'm not going to name all of them, but Giant Tiger is one of them. Same with more than law enforcement. Same with certain politicians. Uh, part of the town council members. Certain uh, issues within the town what need to be looked at and discussed. And if anything, um, if anything, talked about. So... Otherwise, I don't know what else to say. Um, this video has already gone on for a long time here. Um, overall, um, there will be, um, I will be looking at uh, taking legal action probably uh, down the road. Um, just due to the fact because, um, and I may create a certain account if you want to uh, support me I might create a go me fund on on doing on on uh, doing the public service audits here um, showing people it's uh, my right to film and proving it and and Supreme Court in Toronto has ruled against this also and saying it's legal so, and there's multiple YouTubers have been to court and won the case, and and it's it would not be no different. So, um, I can name a few YouTubers also. Um, so yeah, it, it is a shame, but you know, I, what am I gonna do? Um, take them to court. But the, uh, realistically, that's like a thousand dollars a head. So, um, and gaining up there, just doing too with the lawyers and all that stuff. Um, otherwise, I 
I see this issue with a lot of uh, companies. I wanting something done about this. I'm hoping somebody in the media area will help me out. Um, I'm also hoping maybe somebody out in in Winnipeg or the Prime Minister or somebody. Please, um, please comment below. Um, like. Honestly, uh, leave some takes about, uh, the laws, uh, the laws, um, please, uh, I will, the top number one hitter who can say the actual law, what's actually right, then, let's, then I will give you a shout out on Twitter or your YouTube channel, depending on if you have a YouTube channel, um, so, It'll be either a shout out on your Twitter or something like that. I don't know. But I'll figure something out. Talk to you guys later. See ya.